Will you fight for the future of our world? The climate strike movement of 2019 saw 1.6 million students around the world leave their classrooms to protest government inaction on global warming. It started with one person, 15-year-old schoolgirl Greta Thunberg. In the summer of 2018, unseasonable heat waves in Thunberg's native Sweden caused the worst drought in 74 years. Wildfires destroyed 20,000 hectares of forest, displacing thousands of people. Greta believed her government had failed to comply with the Paris Agreement, which asks countries to do their bit in the fight against climate change. Angered, she skipped school to protest outside the Swedish parliament, brandishing a placard that read, School Strike for Climate, and set off a global climate strike chain reaction. Thunberg was then invited to speak at a United Nations conference, where she berated leaders for not taking climate change seriously. Her speech was broadcast around the world, inspiring other young people to take a stand. Days after she was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize in March 2019, over 1 million students held strikes in 125 countries, raising awareness of the climate crises and demanding urgent action from government, better climate education in schools, and the ability to vote on important decisions that affect all of our lives. Impressed by their willingness to act, some schools encouraged their students to strike too. Parents joined the fight, staging protests of their own. And in the United States, Democratic Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez launched her Green New Deal to make the US one of the world's major polluters, carbon neutral by 2030. With the welfare of our world at stake, young people are taking matters into their own hands, coming together to make a change to fight for their future. Will you fight for yours?